join me today for a very cozy and old world Christmas decorate video. We are going to be marrying both Thanksgiving, some fall decor with our Christmas decor using some natural elements. I think you're going to get a lot of really great ideas from this video. I hope that you enjoy. Okay, so today I have a very cozy and natural Christmas decorating video. We are going to decorate my dining room in my 1800s Queen Anne Victorian home. This is a very grand room. It's beautiful. There's beautiful windows. I have this faux fireplace mantle, a really big long farmhouse table. So all fun, fun things to decorate for Christmas. This room is going to be completely different than my living room that you will see here very soon. You should have already seen my Victorian inspired traditional Christmas tree done in reds and vintage antique ornaments. So now in my dining room, I really wanted to do something more natural and stick with the homemade ornaments like the orange slices. So that's kind of what I'm focusing on in here is just keeping everything organic and natural and more simple. Just things that you would find in a dining room, like food. And I think it's gonna be so beautiful in here. I'm really excited for you to join me in this video today. So if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do that now. Also hit the notifications bell because we still have more Christmas decorating to do in my big home. I have a lot of plans for my foyer. That's going to kind of be the flocked room, the winter wonderland room. So that's going to be really fun. And also uh, please like the video. I really appreciate that. Give it a nice big thumbs up and then leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. The first element that I want to bring into my dining room to cozy it up for the holiday season is going to be a one-of-a-kind vintage rug from Revival. And if you don't know who Revival is, they are a global decor company that connects people like you and me to extraordinary products. They have a huge selection of unique vintage rugs and they're all hand-picked across Turkey and Morocco. So I don't know about you, but I never come across vintage rugs. And if I do, they're way out of my price range. It's always been a dream to own a real vintage rug. And with Revival, you actually can. They're affordable and they truly are one of a kind pieces. The rug that you will see me open today is no longer available. There was only one made, but... I want you, after this video, to click down in my description below and go to Revival's website. I'll have the link waiting there for you along with a discount code because I want you to scroll through their website and look at all of the amazing vintage rugs that they have available for you to bring into your home. It was so hard to choose the one that I wanted because they had so many amazing options. So let's get this rug underneath my table. I think it's going to totally set the tone for this old world, vintage, natural um, dining room Christmas decor. And thank you so much to Revival for gifting me this dream rug. For my dining room, I had a vision of dried orange slices hanging from my tree. 
So I am just reaching into my fridge and bringing out some oranges that we already had. This was the first time that I had ever dried orange slices and my plan was to just go low and slow. So I kept the heat at about 170 and placed the orange slices on parchment paper and I just let them dehydrate in that warm oven for several hours. But after doing a few batches of these, I found that the best way to dry my oranges that helped them maintain the most vibrant color was to use a cooling rack in the oven. And that way, I think the oranges had more airflow from the top to the bottom and they turned out really beautiful. I am definitely going to bring these out year after year. And then I just used metal ornament hangers, some really pretty gold ones, and poked those through the flesh of the dried orange and hung them that way. And here's a look at all the decor that I pulled for the dining room, Christmas slash Thanksgiving, plus still a little bit of fall, as you can see with the pumpkins there. Um, so of course we're going to use a lot of the orange slices, and then I also have some cinnamon sticks, and then I thought that these kind of rusty orange shimmery pine cone ornaments would be beautiful on the tree as well. I also have these pine pick bunches that I'm going to be breaking up and putting throughout the room. I'm going to be using these on my fireplace mantle and um, for a centerpiece on my table. cone ornaments. They're the perfect color that I want to add in this room and I love that they kind of looked sugared like candied. So I think this is about as much shimmer and glitter as I'm going to use in this room. But like I said, I like that it looked like sugar because I do love the look of candied fruit. So we're going to nestle these in front and center. I have eight of them and I did find these at Hobby Lobby. I like to kind of move the branches away. That's one nice thing about a artificial tree is you can manipulate the branches in order to fit your ornaments. And for my fireplace mantle, I just wanted to utilize this greenery that I had here for the fall. I think it's just some uh, aged ivy that has uh, changed a bit with the seasons, the cooler seasons. So I'm going to kind of work with that and add in some pine picks, maybe some eucalyptus. So this is the pine picks that I have also from Hobby Lobby. What I am going to do is I'm going to break all these individual little sprigs off and then stick them into my base here and kind of build it up and see how we like it.
So here you see me using some moss to camouflage some paper that I had stuffed down into the base of my tree there. What we ended up doing was taking some round um, like exercise weights and they just so happened to have the perfect size hole in the middle of them to kind of hold our tree stand in this antique um, Chinese rice bucket that I got at an estate sale. I thought it would make the perfect um, vessel for a tree. So there's a tip for you. If you don't have one of those round tree bases, you can use weights, the round weights with the holes in the middle. And here's where we bring in those fall kind of Thanksgiving um, elements. And I am using the heirloom pumpkins that I got for my fall porch, um, at least some of them. And I thought the colors of these would go perfect. They're greens and there's kind of that peachy orange pumpkin. So these are just gonna go underneath my tree and I just love how this looks. Um, I think it is just so upscale looking like something you would see in a magazine but I'm just putting some paper underneath each pumpkin just so they're not directly on the floor in case you know they decide to start decomposing or something which I doubt they will but just in case. Here is one of my most favorite features in the dining room and it's this centerpiece that I created using a thrifted ironstone soup tureen and a flower frog and all I'm doing is I'm taking those pine stems that I cut off of that big bunch and I'm kind of poking them down into the flower frog and then just building upon that so that we have a gorgeous very natural looking centerpiece for the holiday decor in here. Now let's move on to styling the buffet and I wanted to also bring in those organic um, items with the orange slices and some of the little oranges, the little kumquats. This is where I'm going to be using the cinnamon sticks. So I'm just kind of creating some height in the center with this little pine tree and then I'm going to be using a lot of glass around it just so it's not too visually heavy and I think this turned out really really pretty
It's a light that can't. 